Hi, welcome back. So in this, uh, you know, in this video, we'll be looking at, um, you know, how can we sort of define the behavior of our models, right? So in the previous videos, we actually saw how to create, you know, some models. So we created four different models, which is essentially the corset, uh, catalog sales, bid, deem, and the item source of staging. Uh, tables, right? So each table is a model, right? That's why we have uh, in the model folder, right? Now, um, we sort of have different levels of data configuration or model configuration. So we have the general level, and then we also have the individual level, right? So I'm just going to go to this part of the documentation. It's called the model configuration. You can check it out in Google. Just put the model configurations DPT and you will see um, this page pop up. Now, um, one thing about DBT is, you know, like DBT is essentially um, helping us with transformation. So how do we sort of create different models, right? And so with um, the thing about model creation is that we sort of, need the models to you know to behave in certain ways because of the you know position they occupy in you know the pipeline so and because of that we have to make some sort of configurations and so um on the general level i'm just going to go first to the general configuration on the general level we have defined some configuration in the dbt project yaml file right and so you can see like in this example, you see a couple of items that we can include in our DBT project YAML file. And the current project that we have, we don't you know, use all of these options, but we use some of them. So essentially we use some of them. And so you can see like, this is the schema. This is like the default schema that we will be saving our data into, right? And then we also have a default schema that we develop database where we save our data. We could also maybe have some things around full fetch that we're going to talk about later in the course. Right? And also we could even perhaps have like tags and all these other things that are interesting in DBT. Now, um, however, if we want to have specific, you know, we want our models to behave in a specific way. So if, you know, if we want to set like a general behavior for the whole model, we come here to DBT project. And we tell the model, okay, for everything you create, create it as a view. For everything that you model you create, right? You create it as a view. Okay, so we already don't expect it to do any other, to create it any other way, but as a view. However, if we would need to create a table, then we have to, you know, sort of like specify. And how do we specify? We use what we call a config block. Now, when you look at, the uh, documentation, you will see that in the model specific configuration, you will be using something called the config block, which is essentially here. So the config block is just a block that is before your SQL query that will be found in the SQL query, right? So essentially in this config block, we have the rights to say, okay, I don't want to materialize this as a view. But I want to maybe materialize this as a table, or I want to materialize this as a materialized view, or maybe I want to materialize it as an incremental model. We're still going to come to the different types of materialization in DBT, but this is just a general, you know, like first part and where we just cut across. And then we can also be very specific about the schema, right? So if maybe we do not want to have the data loaded in, you know, the, the general schema, Maybe we want it in a specific schema. Then we can also state this, right? So all we just need to have is have the config. So now um, we would do this. We would configure this in our next uh, video where we would essentially talk about like, you know, where we'd actually build the first, um, you know, model that we would have down our, you know, pipeline. So in this case, what we would need is to create like our model into a uh, you know, a finance schema. We don't want the model to have like, you know, to be here. We don't want it to just drop the test schema. 
Now we want to create like a DBT test dot finance schema. We want to have a finance schema that is going to be found here. And this is where we're going to have all our finance metrics. This is what we plan to do. And so because of that, right, we, we would then need to sort of have this config block. And in that config block, we would maybe change the schema because we could be changing the schema. And another thing we could potentially change is also the materialization. So now we don't want a view, but we want a table. And then we would, you know, maybe after that, take a little bit of break and then also look at the different types of materialization. So for now, let's just jump into it and let's see where we go from here. Thank you.